Hello everyone and welcome to the Wild and Free Wednesday. I am recording this one on Tuesday. It's a very hot one. Wednesday, I might not get a chance to record. So if you guys do see this, you're probably looking at this from YouTube or Instagram, okay? So you guys, let's get straight to it. The topic of today is um, who are you guys allowing into your, your, your energy, okay? Who are you guys following? Are you guys still following your flame? <laughs> okay. A fling. My definition of a fling is a connection, a connection or an encounter. That's what I wanted to say. An encounter or a connection with a person, okay, that is strictly uh, for one reason, and that's for the physical, okay, it's for sex. And um, it's very brief, and, and sometimes, you guys, it can be uh, really passionate and really uh, aggressive, uh, really, uh, I would say, intense okay an intense brief encounter with another person that is based on strictly the physical okay so i saw someone um put a post like uh it's time to unfollow your your flings okay that fling don't want your ass no more and it's it's most likely the truth okay um once a fling is done and over with it's it's, just, it's over and done with okay it's no reason to still keep in contact with that person um i do believe in some instances okay sometimes you guys can stay in contact with that person um if you guys probably still work together if you guys have some sort of business uh venture together or some sort of business connection okay that is the only exception but i do uh, advise for you guys to keep that strictly professional because it can get messy pretty quickly um but I know some of you guys are probably guilty of having flings still around or you guys still follow your flings. Um, I actually have myself a fling that still follows that still follows me around. It's almost like it's been like almost six, seven years since we interacted with each other. Um I've deleted this person, blocked them, told them to get away, and they still for some reason end up finding me on social media through another account. I didn't block like probably three or four accounts and they're still uh, following me. Um, that is uh, to the point of unhealthy obsession. And sometimes people try to figure out why things in their life aren't going great, why uh, they have random people uh, cyber bullying them and cyber trolling them. It's not really uh, random people, but it could be definitely people that you guys used to hook up with and used to have uh, some sort of connection, sexual or physical connection with that got but hurt or angry that you guys in some way disconnected from them. So you guys, um, please be careful with that. Um, and please disconnect with those people because sometimes when that door is shut in your life with a certain person, it's shut for a reason, okay? Do not be afraid or do not feel like, oh my gosh, I don't want people to look at me as being mean or insensitive or, or square if I just block them because, you know, we just had a quick fling. Yeah, you just had a quick fling, but don't you think it's better for you guys to be upright and honest with that person so they can just, you know, leave you alone and it can be over and done with? Um, sometimes it is easier to do that. Other times, um, I feel like people do allow people other people to come back or allow flings and things like that. Um, I would say really a low vibrational energy to come back into their lives because they're a little afraid of how the person might view them, okay? A few guys were going into this fling and this connection um, open and honest, okay? And you guys were both consenting. There's nothing wrong with when you guys cutting off when you feel like it's not serving you anymore, okay? We grow. That is part of growth. We must let things and people go, no matter how they're they're feeling. Okay, we have to let them go for ourselves to better ourselves to do what's best for ourselves, not for them and how they're gonna view you. Okay, so some of you guys definitely need to go nurture yourself. Okay, the mentor, and also some of you guys, I feel like you 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 uh, have something going on for yourself. I'm seeing some of you guys may definitely be in a leadership role. You guys might have um, some sort of social status, okay? And you find times people try to connect with you. This was in my uh, previous video on Sunday for the Soulful Sunday session about having connections with people that you don't really uh, talk to or connect with anymore. 
It's, it's what, 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 what purpose do you have in their life? What purpose do they have in your life? Okay, it's time for you guys to let those people go. I mean, that's part of being a leader is, is knowing when to let things go. Doing what's best for you, the greatest good, for the greater good, okay? A wise leadership, yeah. Some people are probably still connected with you or still try to uh, connect with you based on what you guys know. Um, and, and you guys' social status and what they can get out of you is not because they're looking for uh, to get back into a physical connection, but they're looking for a connection through you, okay? So please remember that. If you feel an inkling in your heart and in your intuition that someone is coming back into your life, it is Mercury retrograde, okay? More wisdom, okay? Wise leadership, and this is divine wisdom, okay? If you guys are getting dreams or you guys are getting an inkling, um, that someone's intentions when they're coming in back into your life is not that great. You guys should definitely listen to it. Okay. And if you guys aren't sure about a certain person or a situation, definitely pray on it because your intuition, okay, your gut feeling, it will never fail you. Don't let them people back up in your energy and then wonder why things going downhill for you. It's because you're, you're welcoming the toxicity back in, Okay. It is not the time in you guys' life to be uh, allowing things, okay, to, to happen to you, okay? Giving people permission to do things to you and then complaining about it, all right? You're much wiser this year. This year, we definitely should be going with our gut, our wisdom, the lessons that we have learned from the past. That person and you split for a reason. If it was toxic and you guys let them go for a reason, do you really think allowing them back in or allowing them to stalk you, cyber stalk you, or you are cyber stalking them, do you really think it's healthy for your mental? Do you think it's healthy for your emotional stability? Do you think it's, it's, it's healthy for your growth? No, it's not. All right? Learn how to let them things and them people go. Yeah, they made your body feel good for a moment, for an instance. But at the end of the day, they were definitely toxic, okay? Ishtar communion. Yeah, some of you guys definitely should be talking, talking to your ancestors, talking to your higher power about certain people you guys are allowing back into your life. You really think that those people and those, that person changed that fast, okay? Like two weeks, two months, <laughs> even two years. Like I said, I have a person... Um, that will not leave me alone. They're still following me, okay? It's a guy who will still follow me. I told him plenty of times, I do not want to be more than just friends. I don't want to be friends with him. It was just a fling, and he still cannot respect that boundary, and I have to block him, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, you guys, don't get yourself into uh, fatal attraction type of situationships with other people, okay? And for others, others of you guys, Lakshmi, fortune okay some people could be after you like i said because you have some sort of leadership some sort of uh i will say social status and they're trying to get out your money okay so watch out for those people trying to bring their ass back when you guys are doing well for yourself and you guys are doing great because they're just trying to take your money okay let's be for real let's be for real and it's crazy that i get a lot of backlash on my topics that i talk about uh with you guys because it's always those manipulative uh manipulative ass people who are angry that I'm I'm, I'm kind of uh, whistleblowing on their ass, okay? They do little stuff like this to try to get over on people and scam people. And they get mad at people like me who speak up on it. Some people, you, you guys just don't know. So I'm putting you guys on to game of the BS that I see every day and the BS that I have actually experienced in my life. Sometime in my life when I was younger, you know, I didn't, I didn't have a perfect past. I wasn't always this wise. I wasn't always this... You know, I, I wasn't always on to the to, to, to the fuckery, okay? I was not. I was not. And um, I wish I had someone like me to tell me these things and to show me these things, but I didn't. You know, I had to learn the hard way, okay? This. Okay, I thought my stuff was burning. What do you guys have to move this sage? Okay. But anyway, I had to learn the hard way. I'm going to put the sage right here. I might have to light this again, okay? I definitely had to go through those uncomfortable experiences and and lose out on things and invite people back into my life to have them create another tower moment for me. Mess my life up even more, okay? And I'm not telling you these things and 
you know, warning you guys about these things because I'm afraid or I'm trying to make you guys feel afraid, but I'm trying to get you guys to see that the decision that you make are for a reason, okay? Stop questioning yourself. Stop asking yourself. Stop second guessing yourself. Learn how to make decisions and be ready for any consequence that comes after it, okay? Consequences do not have to be negative. People hear the word consequence and confrontation, they automatically look at it as being a negative. No. Consequences are just, the, you know, the effect of a certain cause, of a certain action, okay? All right? Cause and effect, if you guys don't know. Consequences, karma, and confrontation. Those are three, the three things that people look at as being negative and they're really not. Okay, so please remember that. I'm telling you guys that for a reason. Be okay with the decisions you guys make. Deal with any consequence that comes after. Keep those people at a distance. Keep those people out. Because that's where their ass belong. Okay, so if you guys got something from this today, um, hit the like button. Okay, double tap that. You guys comment if you like and also follow, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Okay, hit the button, get a notification whenever I upload. All right, you guys, I will have some pick of cards on my channel, my YouTube channel, Talks with Mimi. Um, you guys definitely check that out. And also, I have a poll on what you guys want the topic of the pick a card to be. Okay, so you guys go ahead and vote over to my channel. Once again, Talks with Mimi. Thank you guys for riding with me, and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm. Bye.